Hello again, guys. 209's Green Thumb. That's a picture of my big back pumpkin. Been working on these. My first video entry, I showed you the plants, whatever, kind of what I'd done to them as far as the nutrients I'd used. Um, I didn't take a video of me thinning these out. I took off a bunch of vines. The key to these is focusing the plant's energy on the one fruit. So the one you just saw was the largest fruit I have on this plant. From this point on, I'm gonna start picking off every other berry, every other pumpkin, focusing on this guy right here. And I'll be seeing the updates on him and getting bigger. Um, there's really not much to these at all. You put them in the ground, you do some studying, and uh, it, it basically tells you everything you need to know to how to get these massive ones. Uh, the ones I have over here are a uh, are a jack, a jack o' lantern pumpkin, and these grow to about 25 pounds. And I have a bunch of these uh, these starters. Pretty much wherever you're gonna see a, uh, a flower or a bloom is where you're gonna have a pumpkin. So as time goes on, I'll pick off a few of those. Work on about six pumpkins per plant. Really controlled. I don't have a lot of room, so I can't let these things just go crazy. If you have a big area, you can pretty much start a round mound or something to you know where your seeds are, and they will grow and do their own thing. You can start a pumpkin patch anytime. These are my watermelons. I have, uh, these are a sugar baby. I'll probably get to about, uh, I don't know, eight, 10 pounds. And uh, I'll be uh, manicuring these as well, keeping uh, berries, and I call them berries or watermelons, down to a minimum so I can focus them and, and know exactly how many are growing. I have crimson sweets over there. And uh, same process, I got a few small watermelons and I'm um, just kind of going through there making sure that they're not going crazy. These are my watermelons. <laughs> my strawberries. And um, they're actually a sequoia. And what's happened with these though is I got them when they were really small. So I didn't really let them produce any fruit this year. I've been picking them back, picking the berries off, picking the flowers off, and uh, letting them get bigger and more established. Next year, they'll produce a ton of berries. Um, if you don't have this weed block, these tendrils will grow out and start new plants. So this this would actually, if let's say I had a border around here and this was all open, this whole thing would fill up and be all berries. So that's kind of cool for landscaping too. You know, it's a really nice plant and uh, give you some fruit as well. I just started some more radish. Uh, this is a type of uh, vegetable where they harvest very quickly and uh, you can restart crops throughout the year. So you can plant new seeds next to a batch that's already going and they'll come up as you're harvesting. Um, carrots, spinach, and head leaf lettuce, not doing good in the heat. So that's an early season crop. I'm gonna have to work on that. I'm gonna be starting a bunch of pepper plants though to take the place of this. And uh, yeah, that's about it. I'd show you guys my tomatoes, but they're getting crazy, man. Why don't you pan over there, Sean, and let them take a look at that. I started all of those from store-bought plants and they were probably about I don't know, six and a half to eight and a half inches, you know, varying in height when I got them. A little bit of fertilizer and a whole bunch of water, and these things are monsters. Um, I'm going to be building a lattice system for them to continue to grow. Uh, a good friend of mine's dad harvested tomatoes two years in a row. The first year he didn't tie them up, and he got tomatoes. The second year he tied the plant up, it got over six and a half feet tall and he had tomatoes like the size of cantaloupes. So hopefully I'll have one of those on my video for you. And uh, until then, I'm gonna keep working in the garden. I hope you guys started some seeds. And uh, until next time, take care.